right there. You bullshit me, right? 902 for a wheelchair? What? That? I gotta get my tool. Kim! He ain't bullshit! Kim! Man, that's not a tool! That's a damn brick! Kim, man, we gonna use a brick, man. We might as well call prison and make reservations. Oh, come on. Get the number. 428-50. Hurry up, man. Man, let's go. Get the hell out of here. Okay, Billy Badass. You gotta sit here and I tell me how the hell we gonna get out. Hold on, I know you ain't gonna do what I think you're gonna do. Actually, you don't have to steal this Porsche because today it's an affordable sports car. But anyway, what a great movie and what a great car. The Porsche 911 996 was a little bit a different 911. If we compare it to the previous 911, the 993 model, then we clearly see some of the upgrades or for some of the older Porsche fans some downgrades. Because this was the first 911 with a water-cooled engine. Also the design of this Porsche was more modern, more dynamic with completely different headlights. Despite of these things, this is still a proper 911 and it's also the most affordable 911 at this time. So this Porsche was made from 1997 to 2005. The interior build quality is good, however, some of the plastic materials are simply cheaper, mainly on the center console. On the other side, the ergonomics is great and the design of the interior is very simple, which makes you concentrate more to the car itself. Which is a good thing in a sports car, right? The another thing is that this is originally a four-seater sports car. But those rear seats are not really seats. Those are just two places to sit or more to struggle if you are not a small children of course. So basically this is a two-seater sports car. The quality of the paint job is great and overall also the corrosion protection. So this Porsche is not famous for big rust problems. However, there can be some rust mainly on the early production cars. The electronics of this car is usually reliable, but check all the electronics before buying anyway, because the electronic parts are usually expensive. Also don't forget to check the air conditioning if it's working properly. This Porsche is equipped with frameless door windows, which is definitely a nice feature. But I would recommend to check if these door windows are working properly, because they have to automatically lower a little bit when you open the door and they also need to go up a little bit when you close the door. So check if this feature works on all doors. If you want to buy the convertible version of this car, then I would recommend to check if the electronically operated roof is working properly and also if it's waterproof. The standard equipment included leather seats or the air conditioning, but then there was the optional equipment which included for example the navigation system, Bose sound system, Alcantara headliner, built-in telephone and some other useful or not very useful things. Remember that the maintenance of this sports car is, well, not cheap. However, if you can find an independent Porsche specialist or if you can fix the car yourself, then you can save a lot of money on the maintenance. Also, the important thing is to choose a car which is in possibly the best condition and which has the best regular maintenance history. The facelifted version of this 911 was made from 2002. As I said on the beginning of this video, this is the cheapest 911, however, it's still not a cheap car. And it never be a cheap car, to be honest. The price starts at 17,800 euro for the cheapest one in Germany and it goes up until 399,000 euro for a GT2 Club Sport with 462 horsepower. The 
This tiny 11 was obviously available with only the legendary 6 cylinder petrol engines. These engines are definitely not unreliable, but they can have some problems. The well known issue with these engines is the Wern Intermediate Shaft Bearing, the IMS. The bad thing is that this bearing can break suddenly, which can be a very bad surprise, because it can basically destroy the engine. Surprise, motherfucker! The good thing is that this bearing won't break on every 911, so the chance that it breaks is the same as the chance that it won't break. But you can easily find the replacement part so you can get the aftermarket bearing for around $1000, which is still not cheap, but it can save your engine. There can be also a problem with the cracked cylinder heads and with coolant mixing with oil. However, these problems are quite rare, but they can happen. The engine should not make ticking noise, which can be the sign of bore scoring. The another problem can be with the RMS seal, so there is often oil leak where the gearbox meets the engine. Also when the car is warmed up, then the oil pressure have to be between 1 and 2 bars on idle. There is a oil pressure gauge on the instrument cluster, so you can check this easily. You have to change the oil in the engine after 8000 km. The engines are equipped with timing chain, which is usually alright. But it can be sometimes more worn, so pay attention to rattling noise from the engine. You can choose the manual 6-speed gearbox, which is usually reliable, but check if it's working smoothly and if it's not making some strange noises. Also pay attention to clutch, which can be more worn. Then there is the 5-speed automatic gearbox, which is also usually alright. But it can have electronic or mechanic problems, so check it properly before buying. It should change gears smoothly without some kind of a strange noise and hesitation. I recommend to change the oil in the automatic gearbox every 60,000 km. Before buying, check the suspension parts, electronic parts, the car should ride quietly, so it shouldn't make rattling, squeaking or humming noises from the suspension. Check the exterior of the car for various paint defects or rust, which can be the sign of the resprayed body. Also check the gaps between the body panels, they should be even on the left and on the right side too. I hope that these information are helpful enough. If you have some questions or if you have personal experience with this car, then write it into comments. Also if you liked the video, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks for watching.